Uh, hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be comparing some of the grungy green polishes in my collection. Now when I started this, I figured I was just going to compare some grungy chartreuse type of colors. And then by the time I ended up editing this video, I knew I was going to have to make a part two. So this might be a mini series about gross greens. This video will be about the grungy greens. So you'll get a bit more of the darker greens. And the next one will be about slime time greens, bright grimy slime greens, lime greens, and bright poppy greens. So if you're looking forward to that, definitely make sure you hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on so you make sure not to miss it. But for now, let me just show you the first set of grungy greens. This first one might be a little bit of a shocker. This is a Claire's polish. This is actually a splatter effect polish and this one is called Graffiti. So this one almost has like a jelly base. It is a very thin formula and it builds up pretty well. You just want to get all of those glitters seen throughout the layers. So it's a little bit of a pond effect buildup and I really like the way it looks when it's done. It definitely gives me like 2012 vibes, but literally all of those trends nail wise are coming back crackle anyone like yes so I definitely love this and I think it has such a cool effect upon buildup I don't necessarily think it looks like splatters but it is still a really cool polish I actually have a pink one as well this next one is one that I wore pretty recently this is what's up polish Tuscan Harvest it's got a little bit of a silvery blue fleck in there but upon buildup, it gives like a glass fleck look. The coverage on this polish is really stunning. It looks pretty good in one coat, but I did go ahead and give it a second coat for that full effect. And I just really love these tones of polish. This is more the tone of polish that you will see in the next video. These super bright greens just really get me. Here you can see those little particles. This next one is a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This one is called Limestone and it is a bright lime green. It is a perfect cream and this is another one with a great formula. Yeah, it's got the skinny brush, but look at how nice that built up. That's just one coat. And again, I will go in for two coats. I didn't get enough on my brush, so I had to do a little double dip there, but yes, it did turn out to be a beautiful formula and also the price point on those polishes is really nice as well same with this next brand this is a mini eye glow you can find these at the dollar tree they don't have names but they are beautiful polishes this one is definitely a darker chartreuse leaning into olive territory it's just such a beautiful green Again, pretty close coverage on the first coat, a slight bit of streakiness because it is a little bit of a jelly formula. So even on two coats, I got a little bit of that. So I did go in for three coats for this one. I feel like this is like the perfect 70s green though. It is the right amount of bright versus grungy and I just love that tone. This next one is also a mini, but this one is a prototype by Jen and Berries. It is one that I would definitely buy a full size if she ever decided to release it. It's got these beautiful fiery flakies in there. And of course, that tone of green is right up my alley. I buy all the greens in that shade because I am in love with that tone. But here you can see how the golden fiery flakies really shine through. It is just so pretty and gives almost a gilded look. I love this polish. Same with this next one and it's got all the chonky flakies like gold and blue and some of them are those iridescent ones so they shift colors but this one is called Weaver in the Woods 
This one has a very similar formula to the last one, actually. It's kind of got a little bit of a thinner jelly formula. And of course, all those beautiful flakies in there. Here at Two Coats, I still felt like I really wanted to just get one more coat in the middle there. It looked a little clear or patchy but um yeah in three coats this one turned out really well and I definitely can't wait to wear this beauty I still have to wear so many of my bees knees polishes this next one is an orly polish I'm not comparing Elysian Fields today this one is more of a true green with brown this one's called Wild Willow I feel like Elysian Fields is more of a brown with a green I don't know that's just me but I decided to compare this one and as you can see it does have that grungier browner undertone it's definitely the swampiest of the greens look at the formula though one coat was enough to cover I just went in for two coats for that full manicure effect I've really been enjoying trying Orly it's such a nice brand the next one comes from my favorite one coat formula brand this is commander in chief and this one comes from the revlon ultra hd snap line this line of polishes is amazing these are true one coaters and they apply really well buttery and i've really loved the formula on these so much so those are the greens i decided to compare today for the first part two the gross greens mini series these are the grungy greens be on the lookout for the slime greens they will be coming soon i will be comparing 14 slime green polishes to make sure you don't miss it again just make sure you are subscribed hit that notification bell and if you've enjoyed this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up that may also help other polish lovers find this content and maybe a polish that they will love but that's it for this one. I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.